So, quick um, introduction to flow charting. There are several symbols um, that comprise flow charting, but most importantly, why we do flow charting? We do this because we want to specify a process to someone, okay, in a way that is clear. So, that is what flow charting allows us to do. We have one symbol, which is the start, and one symbol, which is the stop symbol. That denotes the beginning and the end of the process that I'm going to describe. Then there are symbols, this, this uh, tilted um, uh, square, this sort of rhomboid. This symbol gets and reads input. And you can use the same symbol also to display and write input. So for example, get and read input might be getting input from the keyboard or from microphone or for something, right? And then display and write output means putting this in a file or putting this on the screen or sending an email or any any way of output of the result of a process. Then you have square bo boxes or rectangular boxes that denote processes. You write what the process is going on there step by step, okay? In addition, you can add decision components, um, which is basically a question, and whether it's true or false or yes or no, you're going to do something, okay? Uh, this is a yes connector, so if, if you're connecting to a yes answer, this is a no connector, okay? What happens if, if no happens? And if whenever you need to access information or put information into a data file, you might use this symbol to represent the data file. In the next video, we're going to see an example of how to, how to create a flowchart and how to use it.